Welcome back. I am still Argos, still here all these years later. We're going to open a native spellbook for a patron of mine. He actually won this in a giveaway that we ran in the Oasis Discord. We have like a private section for patrons in the Oasis Discord. Oasis is the MetaZoo Secondary Marketplace Discord. It's the largest secondary marketplace Discord for MetaZoo. If you're looking to buy, sell, and trade, uh, there's no fees or anything. There's no, there's no catch. You just show up, you buy, sell, trade. We have references and organized like print room forums and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to put a link in the comments section. It's also in the video as well, but come on in for all of your MetaZoo needs. So this is a MetaZoo native spellbook. And if you've been around MetaZoo for a while, you'll know that not all spellbooks are created equal. And so it's important to know like exactly what is in each spellbook because some of them have great pulls on average. Some have like less than great pulls on average and some have holographic aura and some don't. They're all different. So we're going to open up this native spellbook and find out exactly what is inside sting hungers for sealed product uh, i've seen people pulling good pulls out of this so i don't expect now you never know for sure because there's a lot of randomness but i don't expect there to be bad mojo with this i expect to get like you know a decent little variety of pulls but we'll see so fingers crossed for all y'all looks like like all metazoo spell books the native first edition spell book does come with a play mat so let's pull that out here every single spell book so far for MetaZoo has come with a play mat, except for Kickstarter, it came with a map of the of the Cryptid Nation. But since then, it's all been like a paper play mat. It's pretty basic, right? I mean, it's paper. It's meant to fit in there. You can upgrade the size of your play mat should you choose to do so after you've dove into MetaZoo and you want a little bit more space. Looks like we get um, every spell book comes with a set promo. So like, it seems like every core set has what I would call a core set promo, and this is the Native Nation course at promo so we had like a nightfall there was a wilderness one and this is the native nation so that's cool we got like a wendigo on here got a bunch of beasties from the native set so this is one of the things i collect in my set collecting i always put the spellbook promo in there as well now in the past when we're looking for the holographic aura it was just put somewhere in the aura deck so um just know that know that when you're opening these spell books you need to look inside the aura deck for the holographic aura or you're gonna throw it away and that's gonna suck because uh you know you'll find out later that you like trashed them these all these aura bricks that you definitely don't need after you have like a bunch of aura and inside them might have been a a uh a holographic aura so let's just look through this this is gonna be our native aura brick it should have just a hundred aura like 10 of each type a couple are stuck together Looks like it alternates. And then somewhere in this brick, my bet is going to be holographic aura. So let's one, two, skip a few. There it is. Beautiful. See that? Way down in the brick, about halfway down. And the cardstock is different, so you can skip to it a little bit easier. Like you see how the, the tone of the red is a little bit different. The hollow red is a little bit darker. That's kind of normal for MetaZoo. So you can like put it back in here. And then as you're scrolling through, you should be able to see a little bit of a difference. And then if you're like, panning it out you can go oh there's my there's my holographic aura so we're gonna go ahead and put a sleeve on that because people do love these shiny shiny auras they probably have 10 different aura available for native in uh, in holographic form we have the beautiful custom native holofoil so all the different little like native icons wow the density of those icons is really really wow are they all like that are all the hollows like that i mean that's like there's a thing every every like few millimeters i feel like we've got dream catchers and all kinds of stuff that's cool all right so you've got 10 native booster packs you have a pack of 60 native sleeves every spellbook has that and then you're gonna have a, a specific coin that's unique to the spellbook so this is gonna be your spellbook native coin cool every single spellbook has a different coin the theme decks have coins the blisters have coins there's plenty of coins in metazoo those are those are your coin for that you have tokens in the bottom we're going to ignore those and uh then you have packs so we're going to open these packs have some fun and we're going to load everything else back in here as though never were there good luck to you let's see if we can pull you some fusion auras that's all the rage right those things are still holding like 60 bucks or something it's crazy so native is coming yeah native is coming supposedly next week uh that's but you know we'll we'll see we'll see if it happens but the whispers from distribution is that native is coming next week. So I'm going to be able to send out 
the rest of the pre-orders we've been waiting um on about 300 theme decks and about 400 blister packs just a few cases that never made it to us uh and we've been waiting for it so uh, theoretically soon I, I hope i hope you know you never know how these things go but um because the distributors are saying they're expecting it there's you know there's reason to hope so it'll be really nice thank you all so much for your patience uh those of you that did get native congratulations you got you got lucky uh, or you're a diamond hands patron of course they get their native um but then uh anyone who's been waiting thank you so much for your patience we'll just uh, we'll get that out to you as fast as we can and then i don't know what's gonna happen with war you know like um do they need to like push it back a little bit to delay it to like to get on track because because native um you know it'd be nice if the product all arrived at the same time i suppose if it was on time it would be really nice for planning and stuff like that so um some i don't know i wonder what's gonna happen with war i haven't really heard anything yet i know it's still many months away but it makes you wonder i love this chibi Uktana. look at that little gem right there they do chibi so well and a Kavavak. We're just kind of enjoying our, our sojourn through native land here, looking at all these cards, looking at all the new artwork. Haven't been able to open. I haven't opened nearly enough native because I don't have enough of it. And here's why. So I have Bellbooks and Booster Boxes. And oh my God, already pack number two. Dude, the Fulgurite Fusion Orc. Congratulations. Look at that beautiful card. Wow, already. All right, man. I'm happy for you. All right, well, hey, free is the right price for a Fusionora. So that's gonna be your Lightning Earth Fusionora. Cool, we're gonna put him right up top. Yeah, so the problem is, here, here's how it's been going for me, right? So I received all of my booster boxes, release decks, and spell books. So I had all that, but I have hundreds of orders missing theme decks and missing blister packs, right? So I'm, I, logistically speaking, it's challenging to go split hundreds of orders out you know that's that's just that's really challenging it doubles the shipping it's not really going to happen and you don't know when the product is arriving we weren't told anything we weren't told may we weren't told anything so it's like if i go split 200 orders the next day is when i get the shipping notification that it's going to be here tomorrow or it would just show up so i've been kind of just like waiting and i've been holding back enough product in booster boxes spell books and release event decks to be able to spontaneously fulfill all the orders if and when the theme decks and the blister pack showed up and i didn't know when it was going to happen so i haven't been able to like crush native openings because i didn't know how much native i would need beautiful rainbow crow full hollow so it's been a little painful you know i know a lot of people have wanted native they've wanted to get it and i'm sitting here staring at a bunch of it that i can't really do anything with because i'm waiting to send it out anyway so it'd be interesting to see what they do for war you know they've got some time between now and the next set and um it would be it'd be nice if they found a way to uh to get it on time um while still doing i think they're undergoing some like logistics changes you know what i mean like um in the past sometimes they would air freight everything and it gets there a lot faster but it like doubles the cost you know it it makes a huge difference in in their margins if they can uh, if they can ship more slowly the problem is then you have less reliable shipping and maybe they don't quite know how long it takes to get here yet if they ship it that way i don't know exactly what's going on but um you know it makes you wonder like what's going to happen with the war set because they had six months for native i mean they, they had a long time to get native together and it was still a month late uh, or part of it was a month late so i don't know i guess we'll find out because uh we're supposed to be this summer we're supposed to be in august i think that's just a stone's throw away so yeah more native is coming which means um a lot of people are finally going to get their pre-orders that they ordered uh if you order from a partner you'll probably get everything if you order from somewhere online i hope you get your order especially if you ordered for super cheap and the price has gone up my understanding is that distributors, uh, the product that they're going to get for native, what I'm told, and it's not always how it works out, you know, we'll see what actually happens. But what I'm told is that that's it, right? Partners can't order anymore direct from MetaZoo, which is just new. Normally you can just like 
go get more when you want more but now we can't partners can't go get more you have to go through distribution and the word is that whatever distribution has that's it for native you know and I, I don't know how much that is and I don't know how much is left but that's the word you know and uh, with native having all these fusion auras and a lot of functional playable cards and beautiful artwork and all that stuff It'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. Beautiful Marahu, full, hollow, and a doze of zits. You know, and if, uh, I don't know, if the zoo picks up, if the zoo's going to be, you know, getting handed out in kids' meals in the, in the Arby's, if they're going to be running some shorts and doing some other stuff that draws in a larger audience, and if people start kind of, you know, buying it up again and playing it, then it could go fast, but um, the logistics issues are going to be the big, the big thing to take care of because uh, a lot of stores will have cold feet. Retailers get cold feet if there are significant logistics issues and set delays and stuff like that. Um, so you really gotta, they really gotta get a, get a handle on that if they can, or um, or sets aren't going to sell out as much because uh, retailers won't buy it as much. Akialabopa, beautiful, oh, hollow. So we'll see. We'll see what the future holds for war. What do you think about native so far? Let me know in the comments. Have you have you been able to open it? Have you been able to enjoy it? Are, are you still waiting for your native? Most people are just so you know, um, the, I think the, the meaningful majority of people seem to still be waiting for their for their native. So, you know, don't don't feel too bad if you're if you're still waiting and, and hopefully it's next week. But uh, what do you think about what do you think about the print run? What do you think about scarcity? Is it, is it real scarcity? Is it just that it hasn't arrived yet? Uh, when it does arrive, is it going to be like one and done gone? It was it was it just like they printed whatever was ordered and that's it, you know, instead of filling some far off warehouse somewhere with years of product, they just like just did an order print. The first edition and that's it is that is that a new change in policy going forward maybe is first edition going to become collectible again like like the days of yore like a like base set first edition and nightfall before we started having all these additional more rare editions i don't know man maybe maybe they do one and done first editions and then if you want more product you have to go to target or you know some other thing be interesting to see we have a Menagishi reverse hollow and a medicine stick non hollow. Well, you have one more pack. So far, your odds are doing really well because um, you're only supposed to get one in three full hollows, and you've got four full hollows out of nine cards. So that's better than a one in three ratio. And one of those full hollows was a fusion aura, which pays for more than pays for the whole box, especially since this spell book is free. Uh, then it you know pays for infinite free spell books. All right, man, last pack magic. Let's see what we've got. We've got Bunny on a Brain, Dismantle Creations, Rise of the Island, Tupelock is a cool piece of artwork, Cabinet of Skulls, Kogapuk, the Matlock Cave, and we've got to be close to the hollow now. Panty, Ponty, Ponty, Reverse, Hollow. I like this artwork. He's crazy. He's like wearing that mask on his face, huge white teeth. He's really, really fun. Anyway, oh, and Ogopogo. I like them a lot. Well, there's a native spell book, my friends. Now you know. So we got four full hollows, which is nice. That's 40%. You're only you're only supposed to get an average of 33% in MetaZoo. So 40%, you beat the odds in a native spell book. Really nice to see. And it came loaded with a fusion aura. So we humbly accept that. Look at these beautiful cards. I'm so excited to mail these off to you. You've been waiting patiently while I take care of so many other things. I applaud you, sir. So that's all I've got for now. Thank you, MetaFan, for stopping by. As always, I do appreciate this opportunity to entertain you. Fine peoples of MetaZoo with Native. We're going to be opening more of it. I promise. It just needs to get here. Yeah.